afternoon and welcome to my channel Becoming Events by Eileen. Thank you very much for those of you that has viewed my first video last week and also who have subscribed and commented and shared. Really, really appreciate your support. Um, I aim to upload a video every Monday, so please hit that notification button so that you'll know when I've um, uploaded my next video. Also hope to do one on a Friday also, which will be something a much smaller project. So for this um, tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how you could create yourself a table centerpiece for less than five pounds. Yes, you heard me, less than five pounds, um, and which can be used for a wedding, an anniversary, a birthday party, you name it, you can use it for whatever event you want to. So the um, components that you're going to need for this um, tutorial, for this centerpiece, is an oversized wine glass. And this is one that um, I got from Poundland. My bling wrap, love the bling wrap. And this I got from Amazon. Some Mod Podge. E6000 glue. My hot glue gun. I've just bought, used a highlighter pen, but you can use any form of um, pens or marker to create your line. Some foam brushes, which I'm going to be using for the Mod Podge. I've also got some iridescent glitter powder and some gold glitter powder. Um, both of those were from the range, also the Mod Podge was from the range. And... Um, so a lollipop stick, which I'm going to be using to um, apply the um, E6000. And this I bought a pack, can't remember how many was in the pack, but it was a pound from the range also. We'll need some electrical tape or builder's tape. And the reason why I'm using this is that it's quite stretchy. So you can, it's easy to, um, it's very malleable so that you can apply to any surface that you so wish. Um, a pair of scissors. And um, let's get going. Oh yes, and I've also got a little bowl which I will put my Mod Podge in. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use this empty Mod Podge bottle as my um, level for my mark for marking out on the glass and my highlighter pen. And all I'm doing is just to keep that steady with my right hand and then put the glass up against it and just spin the glass all the way around and that way I will get a line which is even and straight all around the glass. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing is to get my electrical tape, which I'm going to stretch, let's get a fit, uh, quite a bit. Tear that off, quite easy to tear off, she says. Just stretch it a little bit. And I'm going to be putting it under the line that I have put on the glass, that I've marked on the glass, and just stretch that all the way around, making sure that it adheres very closely to the glass because we do not want any gaps in it um, for when we apply the glitter, iridescent glitter and the Mod Podge. So I've cut that a bit too short, just make sure I smooth it down. So I'll need to get myself another piece. And I should have shown you the line before I started to apply that. So let me just show it you quickly for the bit that I haven't done. Can you just see, just very faintly, the purple line there? Um, okay, so I'm just going to finish applying the builder's tape or electrical tape, stretching it again. Just make sure the edge meets. So that's the electrical tape going all the way around. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to get my Mod Podge 
Let's give it a good shake. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. I need to put a small amount into the bowl. And I'm going to bring my iridescent powder glitter forward. That's it there. I've also got this tray for us in this bear. And I'm going to turn the glass upside down and with the brush or the foam, the sponge, just to, just stroke it down the Mod Podge. Just paint it on the glass downwards or however you want to do it. It doesn't matter. It's just easy for me to do it downwards because of the way I'm holding the glass upside down. So you just completely coat that all the way around. And it doesn't matter if you go over the electrical tape because we're going to take that off and that's why it's there to stop you so that you can have a neat line when you take that off. So when you've completely covered the top part of the glass with the Mod Podge, then you get your iridescent glitter and you sprinkle it all over the area that you've put the Mod Podge on. Can you see that properly? Okay, let's bring that in view. dust off the excess and I will show you that that's how it's looking now I'll leave that to dry and then I will apply a second coat and after that second coat is dried then we'll take it to the next step so to save time I've got another glass that I've already prepared and that's it that's had its two coats and that is completely dry so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a bit of Mod Podge on the rim of the glass and then I'm going to sprinkle the gold sprinkler on that. So this is where the smaller foam brush comes into play. And I've got another receiver for the gold. So you just need to just dab it around just the rim of the glass. gold sprinkler um sparkle dust you don't have to use gold you can use whatever color you prefer to coordinate with your the theme of your wedding and then now i'm just going to get my gold dust and just sprinkle it that around the rim of the glass hope you can see me doing that And it doesn't matter if you get some of the gold dust inside the glass, you can get rid of that afterwards once everything is dry and you clean up. And I'll also put a bit of the mud podge afterwards to seal that. So there you go that's the gold rim there so while that is drying I will continue with the next step and the next step will be to remove the electrical tape that is around the glass now this glass I did this um yesterday so that is completely dry and all you do is you just find where you've overlapped the tape just peel it but when you're peeling it off make sure you pull it downwards and you will be left with a nice sharp line. So there we go. So just pull it downwards. It's 
very important that you make sure that the glitter and the Mod Podge dries completely before you remove the electrical tape otherwise it will be uneven and jaggedy the edge so that's it completely going all the way around okay so the next step that I'm going to do now is to apply my bling wrap around the the base of the glass along the stem and to meet to, up to that line there with the glitter. So I get my, I've got myself a long string strip of the bling wrap and all I'm doing is just once again like I did in the other video, the previous video, is to cut in between one of um, the strings in between the bling wrap. Okay. If I get a bit closer for those of you that didn't see the first video. So you can see those little strings, it's got two strings there. I'm just cutting in between, just on the one side. Okay, so that I can show you that. And that will ensure that when I'm going round in circles, that it will apply and sit flush with the glass. So I've got one that I've done already. I tend to have the side that I have done the little slits that the, I've done the little cuts facing inwards towards the stem of the glass. So you get your E6000 glue with your popsicle stick. Just use that and just spread that all around the base of the glass and up the stem as well. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So just doing that with the popsicle sticks. Just spreading the glue all the way to the edge. You could use your hot glue gun, the hot glue for this, but I just prefer to use the E6000 because it gives me more time to get this done. And all I'm doing is just going up the stem of the glass. Okay. Put the lid back on that one. And then I start on the edge. Let me see if I can do it that way around so that you can see what I am doing. So just put it down towards the edge and just keep going round and round from the edge inwards. Oops, and try and remember that you've put some of the E6000 on the stem of the glass and not to hold the glare. The stem of the glass and I've also got to remember that I've got some Mod Podge on the rim. to apply the bling wrap. I did try doing it the other way around by starting from at the top here and working my way down but it took a bit longer and it was more tedious doing it that way. So I try to find out the easiest way for you to do things so that it makes life easy for you and quicker. Okay so here at Becoming events, we're trying to show you easy ways that you can do some things for yourself and to increase your budget by actually 
doing things for yourself and sourcing some of the require the it, um decorations that you would like for your event <music> Once I've completed the stem, I will show you how this is looking. The base, I will show you how this is looking before I go up to the stem of the glass. take a good three couple of hours three to four hours for this to dry completely well not completely but to set it will completely dry and set in 24 hours as i'm doing this i've just remembered i forgot to tell you about another component that you need which or will require it's up to you which will be some adhesive gemstones which i purchased from completely covered and then I continue all the way up the stem of the glass and around and to some extent it's easier once you get to the stem of the glass because you just hold it loosely and just spin and it will go around can you see what I'm doing Oh, then let me put it on there and then hopefully you'll see a lot better. Let's just put that a bit closer. So all I'm doing is just holding the bling wrap and just turning the glass for that to wrap around the stem. And it's up to you whether you want it to wrap very tightly and close to each other or just to have it loose. And I'm going for the loose with the gaps in between. Like I said, it's very much up to you how you want to do this bit. This is where your individuality can come in to this. Like I've said before, if there's anything that you'd like me to replicate, please drop me a note and I will do that. And you just keep going all the way around until you've completely covered the whole glass. Right, the gem wrap, which I was telling you about that I forgot, those are the adhesive gemstones. And the reason why I've used those, it's because, if I show you that there, can you see I've got a little bit of a gap there where I started with the bling wrap. So I use the gemstones around that, the base of the glass. And also when you finish at the top here, you'll also have um, an end that's just there. So that's why I use the adhesive gemstones around it. So I'm going to leave that and I have got another glass which I've started to put the gemstones around. Okay, so here we go. So I've started with the gemstones at the top there and I'm just going to finish it around the base and then in our display. So this is where the hot glue gun comes in. Although these gemstones are self-adhesive, I apply a bit of um, the hot glue to make sure that it stays on.
I'm going to pause the video, finish off that small amount of area that's to be done. And then next time I come back, I'll be showing you how we're going to use this in a display. There you go. The vase all completed with an LED candle inside. So that is one way you can use it as a table centerpiece. And then I am going to show you other ways. Another way you can use it by using one of those multi colored submergible lights on the inside. So there you go. Okay. And I'm going to show you how you could use it with a floral display. And that's it with a simple floral display being used as a vase. There are lots of different ways you could use this. And like I said, this is less than five pounds just to do the glass without the floral display. Okay, I'll just leave out again. And then I'll show you the final way in which you could use this. Okay. There you have it. You could put a plain dessert bowl underneath with the LED, the multi-coloured LED light underneath. And there you go. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? Please give me a thumbs up for this. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And like I said, for less than five pounds, if you were to put the bowl underneath it, the bowl I got from B&M and it was four for two pounds. So the bowl is 50 pence and the LED light. I've just purchased some more from Amazon and they were, I think it was four for 18 pounds or something like that. So that would be work out at about four pounds 50. You could still do this arrangement minus the flowers for less than £10. What do you think? Please give me your comment. Give me a thumbs up. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing this arrangement. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. This is Becoming Events by Eileen.